and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we're going over the potential incoming market crash. Now, guys, as you guys know, the market's been super steady and rising for quite a long time now. Usually, there's like the, there's like the perfect storm right now. We're just chilling. Nothing's moving too much. Things are actually at times going up because of Ultimate Legend Saturday. Things came down a little bit, but things were pretty steady. Now, if you guys know everything, when well, that's usually happening, that means there's about to be some massive crash. Now, what could it come from? Not entirely sure, but for one thing, we still have part two and three of the Combine promo coming out. And I guess people probably weren't too interested in the first part because the first part was only Amari Cooper, who may have been the worst of the three total players you could actually get from the promo. People were really more too invested. People actually reacted more to the Ultimate Legend drops. Now, a big, a big group of cards coming out should set the market down a little bit, but things are kind of up, like Theme Diamonds, like nothing's setting those higher players off. But the main reason that the market hasn't come down a lot is because we're not increasing overalls. That's, that's literally the biggest thing, guys. Adding more of the same overalls to the game shouldn't affect the market too much, as we've seen. What will affect it is adding higher or better rated players. So right now, we this game just keeps adding 97, 96, 97, 96. That's not going to affect the market. There's no high demand for those cards. There's already so many of them. Now, if they start adding in 98, 99, 98, 99, all the 97, 96 will start to crash down. And then the 98, 99s won't crash for a while until there's just a ton of 99s, and then it won't crash until the game's just kind of dead at that point. But for the time being, that's kind of why it hasn't crashed. So, guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn the notification bell, boys. Come join the family. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys have been enjoying the videos as of late. Make sure to smash that like button, turn the notification bell, boys. I will be announcing the giveaway winners on the community tab later today, more than likely. So, stay tuned for that. Now guys, let's hop into this video. So, heading over to the 90s, 91s, everything just kind of remains steady. Like, 90 overalls are super cheap, obviously, but they've been super cheap. Not like, there's nothing crazy to them. They've just been cheap as a, as a just kind of like one of the things that come with being at, what are we, March 1st now? Kind of just, it kind of comes with the way the game is now at this point. Now, 92, 93s, heading on over. 75k, now this is kind of a significant jump from the 90s, 91s. Goes up quite a bit, quite honestly, but... Like I said, the point that we are in this game, this is kind of expected, like, trading super cheap, 62k, 66k total for one of these cards right now, like, trading super cheap. I'm not saying that's the best value, but for the most part, at this time of Madden, trading's really cheap. If you guys ever need training on anything, this is definitely the time to get it done. Now, Legend cards, it's kind of weird. Legend cards still go for a near price of Ultimate Legends, although there's no more Legend Fantasy Packs, but Ultimate Legend Fantasy Packs do give you a decent amount of uh, Legend hits, so kind of evens out. I always find it so funny looking back at this and seeing guys like John Henderson and Clint Portis. Like, I remember when these guys first came out in a legend drop at Too Tall, and these guys were like crazy expensive. Things have really come down since then. Now, let's head over to the 94-95s. Heading on over here, again, super, super cheap. I took my Ultimate Legends because yesterday was Saturday. The thing should be a little bit cheaper. 115 for a 94 overall. You could probably pick up a pretty decent team for a pretty cheap price right now. Budget teams are probably loving this part of Madden. And this isn't even the best part. This isn't even like the super cheap part. Super cheap part is probably coming up like next month. Going closer to like Path to the Draft type promo. But for the time being, there's still a ton of things you can still do. I mean, obviously the game's not dead. There's still a lot that you can do. We're hoping for more stuff to come out. We definitely need part two of this combine promo coming out because that should impact the market a little more. But we need higher overall cards. They, they got to make the master at least 98. Because right now, making the master, making them all 97s isn't going to affect the market, which isn't going to make too much movement on Madden. As the people like, half the people who play this game play for the market. Kind of like the auctioning aspect. And at this moment in time, you can't exactly do that when there's just the same stuff coming out over and over again. I'd like the new players like Dion stuff and Cooper, but those were like a, it's almost like a downgrade. Like it was Cooper, 96 overalls, we've been getting 97s. So I think we probably should have kept that trend. Even Ultimate Legends, like half and half. I think it's time we start kicking it up to 98, 97. Instead, it's kind of that point of the game ready. We can all come up to that overall anyways. So we to give us cards some better stats, keep us all interested. And now, and that will affect the market, like I said. Now 96, 97, so this is where, I can, this is where I'm really concerned. So here's where the prices are kind of staying steady, like Kurt Warner 225. Shadow Sharp's actually getting a little cheaper, but that's certain players. As a whole, everything's kind of steady. Nothing's going up, nothing's going down too much. Now, what has changed, of course, is the newer players, like Paul Milo is actually 280, he was just 240. But then again, 265, like he was 240. He's come up a little bit, but then again, he'll come back down. It's just remained steady. There's nothing in or out, like significantly on the market right now. Calvin has come down, but that was bound to happen. He was overpriced for a while. Brian Dawkins. Great card, but we still got Sean Taylor, who's pretty good in his own right. Rob Woodson, I really don't think he's all that great, in my opinion. I think that he's amazing. 
I should say, but I don't think he's that great in comparison to what you can do with some other cornerbacks or what's going to come out. I think he's kind of like the jack of all trades, which I don't really need. I'd rather have my night train. Andre Reid, LTD card, pretty cheap for LTD, but at the same time, again, things just overall very, very steady and up. Ray Lewis, one card for 645, 650, I mean. Ken Houston, nothing's driving anything down right now. Right now, the way Ultimate Legends prices have been going down are pretty much you wait the following week, new cards come out, these cards hype die down, then you pick them up. That's kind of how it's been going. That's how it usually is. But other market factors could usually affect it. But at this moment in time, nothing else. You've got to just wait every single other week to pick up an Ultimate Legend card. It's kind of getting annoying at this point because I want to pick up cards. But even if I want to pick up Ray Lewis, it would make no sense right now at 650k. Even if I filter by team, I look him up here. You guys will see that he's probably, yeah, 646. This is not a good value right now. There's only four of them. I'll let you know that a lot of people aren't really open in packs. A lot of people really aren't auctioning or going through that right now. They're going through the motions. But... It's kind of expected right now i understand even with combine part two we already expected so they're really gonna drop bangers in part two and part three dropping bangers in part two and part three will be the best way for them to really capitalize and get the game like the, the gears moving again that's really what they got to do because other than that this so this promo last two i believe it's march 2nd and march 4th of the next two drops so we got at least almost another week or so, about a week that's four days plus like the extra week and then we'll probably won't get stuff we got at least a week till we see another type of significant content maybe longer so we might have to see this market move for a while if we don't get some kind of significant master drops or anything from the next set of the promo. Now moving on up to the 9899s. Now guys, these are the cards that we're really concerned about too. These are the cards that we want, but we can't afford and we're waiting to see finally drop. Now, how would we see this? So Patrick Mahomes, for all you guys who want Mahomes, the only way you're going to see him drop is a new quarterback. Only way. So a Michael Vick drop. An ultimate legend Michael Vick would bring Mahomes price down a bit. Not a lot because he's still going to be the best pocket passer. So even then, even if he did come out, he wouldn't kill him entirely, but the hype on Vic would be pretty real, which wouldn't then, in fact, in fact, affect his price. But even if Vic came out, I think he'd come out to like 700k. I don't think he'd skyrocket like down that much, but I think it would take another pocket pass a quarterback, like maybe like maybe like another Steve Young Ultimate Legend that can pass almost as good as Mahomes and can run a little bit faster and can get all the abilities. That's probably the only thing. Other than that, Mahomes doesn't come down for quite a while. They're gonna need to make because he's 99 overall. He has insane stats. Like he's any po no pocket passer. Almost every pocket passer wants Mahomes passing stats, but they'll never have his rushing stat. So that is kind of like the ability that he's going to have for the rest of the year that not many other quarterbacks might have. Steve Young is going to be able to compete possibly, but that's about it. Nitro Lane, he's just up right now because of just the nature of the game right now. He'll come down. What's going to make him come down is just prices of the cards going down in general because as, as the market starts to crash, pretty much Nitro Lane represents the market. That's pretty much it. Nitro Lane, because he, he's made up of pieces from different overalls. So as soon as the market starts to crash more and a bunch of players start going down at value, thus his pieces will go down and in turn he will go down. He'll probably come down to about 600k within like a month, give or take, maybe even more. It all depends on how the market gets affected by these new up and coming promo stuff we're going to be getting because that the way that gets affected will affect him. He's pretty, I guess that he represents the market to an extent. Not many of them, not much supply, kind of steady. And Lamar, Lamar's not going to be affected until... We get the series redux cards. That's pretty much it. Lamar is going to be a series redux. But even then, guys, he's going to be a hot market topic, like off, off of it right away, because no one got even a taste of Lamar Jackson this Madden season because the, the one that we've all been waiting for, no one could afford. The amount of people pulled. So you do know a series redux is probably going to be going for like a million coins, 800K, for a little bit. Not, not forever, but for a while. And even then, at that point, I really don't know if he's even worth it anymore at that price, to be quite honest with you guys. So it really just depends. We're gonna have to wait and see and when we get that series redux when we get another series update so that'd be series six now series five did come out i believe i want to say like end of january no i don't remember I, end of january early, early february maybe i think end of january which means we're probably not getting another series update till probably mid late march but even with that it still feels like it's been very short i mean time kind of flew but guys it's better for the video hope you guys got your inner workings on the market Kind of what you expect things how you expect things to move what's gonna happen that's kind of how it, uh, that's my take on it right now which is why i'm not going all in on the market right now haven't picked up any players kind of just waiting picked up the combine players that's because i did the set wanted deon sanders of course but guys better for the video thank you so much for watching if you guys are new to the channel make sure to blow hit that subscribe button turn on any bell boys come join the family make sure to check out all, all the other videos for today i'll probably only do one more it's a sunday slower day usually kind of just do two because i know you guys have probably busy days make sure you give this video a big thumbs up turn on that noti bell come join the family like i said any comment down below if you guys have any questions regarding the market i'll try to get to all your comments that's about it guys make sure to check out for the giveaway winners later today check out the other video that should be going up around i want to say 3 p.m that pretty much wraps up the video enjoy the rest of your days enjoy the rest of your week enjoy the rest of everything that's been coming hopefully comment promo part two and four part two and three come a little bit faster because 
trying to have something to do, grab a little bit of coins, trying to use them. Well, that's about it. See you guys later. Peace.